So the first message pertains to what God revealed. You know, because God gives further revelation about something. What God revealed to me about the apostolic mandate of the nation of Kenya, the apostolic mandate of the nation of Kenya, the message is as follows. The Spirit of God says there is room for the political elite in Kenya to unite. I see by the Spirit of God, spiritual and church leaders play a leading role to heal obvious divisions among the political elite in Kenya. God says intercessors have a crucial role to play in the labor of prayer and intercession in Kenya. Kenya is not only a nation under God. Kenya is God's own nation. The Holy Spirit says God has three major assignments for the nation of Kenya in, to this generation. Number one, the first assignment of Kenya is to provoke Israel and parts of the Middle East to repentance so that the, those nations, they come close to God. That's the first part of the threefold assignment of the nation of Kenya. And then the second assignment is to manage nature and disseminate a spiritual awakening, first to fellow African nations and then to the rest of the world. I'll take that again, to manage nature and disseminate a spiritual awakening, first to fellow African nations and then to the rest of the world. Number three, to release highly anointed apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, teachers, and prayer warriors to the whole world. This is the threefold assignment of the nation of Kenya from the Almighty God. The Lord God says, he will do anything to the current generations to align them to his divine will. May the will of God prevail in the nation of Kenya. So that's the first message that I was given. It's a message of exhortation and a message of encouragement. So those Kenyans who, are, who believe in Christ, this is the revelation that God has given me. I believe there's confirmation of this kind of revelation in many parts of the world. 